Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So, um, me and Mark got a wild hair up our butt. I'm including Mark in this because I don't know how much of an error in life <laughs> this is. But uh, I've kind of. I support bad decisions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's my buddy here. Yeah. So uh, I've always kind of wanted a Mercedes, an older Mercedes. Ever since I used to go to uh, a car cruise, I saw one roll in, bagged, just roll in, bag it to the ground. The guys got out. I was just like, you know what? That was pretty cool. But then I got into muscle cars, and uh, I don't know. I was just on offer up the other day. No, I was on Facebook Marketplace, and I stumbled across this thing. And after going back and forth for, it's been a couple of days, huh, Kyle? Yeah. Going back and forth for a while, getting the schedules figured out. We finally got out here to uh, beautiful West Covina, California. Very nice. Yeah. On a, on a side note, in El Monte, which is close to West Covina, right? I saw Van Halen at a backyard party. Dudes were two bucks, chicks were free. True story. Um, so anyway, Kyle had this thing posted up for sale. It looks like he's got a little car collection going on here anyway. And uh, I came up and uh, threw some money at him and he took it. So now this thing is going to get bagged. It's going to get some sort of power and some cool rims and tires. And we're going to cruise back up, take Kyle to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle. Get the trailer up here and um, get down the road. Hey, has it got a brake pedal? Yeah. Feels like a brake pedal? It does. Oh, shit. All right. So, uh, yeah, potentially. Uh, oh, we need your brakes because the hill's kind of big. Yeah, this, <laughs> we're at the top of a hill. We're like, oh, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. We are honestly up on. This is the last house on the right. No relations to the last house on the left. Another classic movie you would enjoy. Yeah, we were up here. All right, let's get the trailer up here, get this thing loaded. Trailer all the way up there. Jesus. Oh yeah, you're definitely fighting some spiders. Right, this way, sir. You're right. Keep going, keep going right. Got more feet. Just need to put this down. All right, so we're trying to tie this thing down. We're used to tying down muscle cars. And I, I, I think that tire, the oh, days, are, days are numbered on that tire. Then uh, this is the very first word I ever learned. Auspuff gummy. It's not there right now. Excuse you? Auspuff. It's a muffler mount. 
Anyway, we gotta move. Block in the street. Be right back. So I put a new battery in it just to make sure I had plenty enough voltage. Check the oil, it was good. Cranked it over until I had oil pressure. Oil pressure checked out. Got some clean gas, poured it in the carburetor, filled up the float bowl. This is a four barrel carburetor. Um, cranked it over and as you can see it fired right up. Idled, great oil pressure. Um, now it's clean out that fuel system and uh, there's a possibility this motor might, might live a little. It's funny, it's one of your first cars that the windshield wipers work. Got him. Don't tell me the radio works. Oh, dude, just a new speaker and you're rocking, dude. What's wrong with that? <laughs> wow. Out of my head, royal blood. That's called pull me through. That is from It is 95.5 KLOS, Southern California's rock station. Is it time to go experience the holidays at Disneyland? Well, you know what? It is. And we do have your four packs of tickets. So your next chance to score a four pack uh, is coming up in the four pack hour seven and Sluggo. And then after that, uh, well, Monday we're back at it. Eight pack nice. hour, twelve noon, four pm. Right we'll have your shot at a, a, a pack. It's a four pack of one day one park tickets. So you can go. Oh. Oh, you found it, beastie yes. boy. There you go. The missing link. Heck yeah. This whole deal almost got just down the toilet without this. <laughs> a headlighter's nice. Uh oh. Might, so might, might do that a little bit harder a few so more times. Is falling off. Oh, there's like a clear coat on, on top. Yeah. That's real wood, dude. Yeah. Uh, either rosewood or birch. Zebra wood. Wow. Yeah, we just take all that off, dude. Heck yeah. If I only knew somebody with OCD. Anyway. Uh, are these for the... Oh, dude. Transmission works. Okay. Okay, we got it to the shop, got it off the trailer. We had a wonderful lunch over at uh, a French food restaurant. No, a Spanish restaurant, oh, wasn't it? It was the, uh, the green burrito. Mixed together. And uh, we got this thing here. I threw a battery in it. had laying around. And uh, I just noticed that somebody has updated it. R134. Yes. From R12. Took the air cleaner off to find out that this thing is carbureted. Does that carburetor look familiar to you? It looks familiar to me. So that's kind of cool. It is a six cylinder twin cam motor. And uh, poured some gas in the car because I'm sure there's nothing but varnish in the tank. And uh, with a little of messing around, it fired up and ran. So that's cool. Um, I was a little disappointed on the way here. I was just like, man, we're missing the emblem. And then we uh, found it in the glove box. So that's a step in the right direction. The transmission does go into reverse. So I think uh, I'm going to just start working out what brakes and suspension I want to put on this thing. And then, uh, I mean, a twin cam six cylinder. This is like, this is a 2JZ from Zafazaland. 
Does it German to JZ? <laughs> uh, I'll do some research on this motor to see if it's worth saving. If not, it's like plenty enough room in there to put something cool. Do we have a floor jack? We do. <laughs> this is what they used in 1974 on the side of a freeway. Jawohl. On the autobahn. On the autobahn. On the Faserland. That's sketchy, dude. Oh, seems like. That jack and then the DeWalt court equipment. <laughs> Target? These look like 17 millimeter. What do you see? All right, so this thing is in the air. As you can see, I have de-spidered it. Well, let's put it this way. The spiders have moved out of the car and now they live over at the compressor. I saw an honest a mini stampede of little critters crawling over there, taking all their belongings, little suitcases and stuff, little attaches. It's a Mercedes, so they don't have suitcases. They have attaches. And, uh, but yeah, there's lots of, uh, lots of critters and stuff down there. Either way, did a little tire swap back there. Um, these are holding air for now. It's okay. I did find out the transmission does work. Um, I wish I would have shot some, like we would have went full varnish cam on the, uh, yeah. on the poo that was in the fuel tank, but it actually is not super filthy. It looked like maybe I got, we got it at just the right time. Like it had yeah, just it turned was. into like varnish. Have pressure washed it, cleaned it out very well. It actually looks pretty good, pretty good in there. 
You can actually still see the factory liner or, or anodizing or whatever they put in there. And uh, here's the lines right here. Oh, you can kind of see how pooey it was right there. Kind of clay. Yeah, kind of yucky. So I'll be flushing that, replacing those lines, those lines. We were fighting with it for a minute and we're like, man, something's holding it. Thank you, Germany, for leaving a service port in the trunk to unplug the Cindy unit. It's right there. All right, sort of a weird setup on this tank. It has lines on the back right there, a large one and a small one. And at the very bottom of it has like a little, inside the tank, a little uh, bowl that's inside the tank that uh, where all the gas ends up. And then it goes through a, a bronze adapter with a filter that we've, we've, we've already lost. We've already lost that. But we had to build the apparatus couple cross-threaded metric bolts to get it out. Here's the sender. This is a cool idea. This is from the early 70s. And this is one of those float senders that you can, you can kind of hear it. There's a float inside there. I actually took it all apart. There was some cake inside there. I got that out. Yeah, there it is. We pressure washed this thing. Up, this was, yeah, this was full of chocolate pudding. <laughs> So, either way, cleaned it all out. This goes right in the bottom, and then the fuel goes through this and then drops down into the little bowl that's sealed around this area right here. So, uh, pretty cool. I mean, a little over-engineered, but it's made of bronze. It's benzene right there. I will uh, clean that up, put a polish on it. Sure, why not? Let that thing dry overnight. What I did was took air and blew all through there, got it all down to one side. Then I stuffed an old shirt inside there, something that will absorb and pushed it all the way down to the corner. So all this will dry. Any water that's left in there will run down to this corner, get soaked up by the shirt. I'll take it out tomorrow, hit it with some more air. It should be good to go. We're putting a new filter in the back, pressurizing the lines to the front, replacing the front filter, potentially changing the fuel pump. I'm sure it's full of poo. We have to put a water pump on it, which will be a good time. But I mean, I'm super jazzed. We got a, this thing for a song and a dance and got it over here, got it taken apart, threw a battery in it, messed with it a little, got it to run. Uh, brakes work, tires aren't seized, transmission seemed to have at least low and drive, low and reverse. So more to come. See you in the next video.